Hello, my name is Tom Griffin. I'm the Chief of Police here at the Peabody Police Department. I want to welcome you to the Peabody Police Station in a couple of minutes. We're going to do a tour of the station. I just want to take the opportunity to introduce myself. I'm fairly new to the city. I came over here about a year and a half ago. I've, I've tried to introduce myself to as many people as possible, but um, this, this will give me a great opportunity to, to say hello to the folks out there. I was a police officer in Salem for about 27 years. I, I uh, ended up uh, working in the investigations division for quite a long time. Uh, I made it up to the rank of captain. The opportunity arose to become a police chief in Peabody. I was fortunate enough to be selected by the mayor and I really feel um, I was lucky to get this opportunity. I think it's a great city to work in. It's a really professional and uh, outstanding police department to, to be able to lead um, and I'm very happy to be here. In the, in the past year and a half, we've had some accomplishments since I've been here. We, we actually started up a Citizens Police Academy. We graduated about 25 people. We started doing the uh, RAD program. It stands for Rape, Aggression, and Defense. We show them some techniques and give them the confidence to fight back rather than just becoming a victim. We've run about 15 or so women through that, and we're going to continue those programs. The primary concerns I have as the police chief are, are dealing with the, um, the opiate addiction problems. Um, the um, homelessness issues that we're, we're trying to deal with, domestic violence, as well as some retail crime. Those are the, the four primary problems we have. And we have different specialized offices uh, that we're, uh, we have in place to deal with each one of those types of situations. So um, it's something that we're, we're very concerned about here and something that we're trying to get a, get a curb on. Um, other than that, I mean, we don't have a, a lot of major crimes. Um, but, but when we do, I've uh, noticed that the officers are able to handle them and, and deal with them and bring the majority of them to a successful uh, conclusion. So, Okay, and I think it's time to take a tour and show you all the different parts of the police department here. I'd like to welcome you to the station. Uh, we're going to go right in here through the front door, which if you come visit us is the best way to come in. Hopefully you won't be coming in through the back door. That's not a good thing. That means you're under arrest. Come on ahead, we'll go right in. This is our main lobby here. This is where most people come through. We have a program that's called Volunteering in Police Service. And he, um, he'll help somebody if they need some, something at the window here. Uh, he can direct them to either over to records, if you need a copy of a police report, or if you need to actually talk to a police officer, he can get a hold of the, uh, the officer inside. If he's not here, you can just pick up the phone and, and dial into the uh, control room, which we'll go inside in a few minutes. These boxes here for narcotics drop-off and any kind of needles or anything like that to get them out of their house so that um, someone doesn't, you know, take them and use them. This is my office back here. I have a little desk right here that we can sit at and talk if I need to have uh, any kind of conversations. The busiest part of the police station is actually the, um, the dispatch center. This is where everything starts with the police department. We have um, an officer who uh, handles anybody that comes in the window and he helps with them answering the 911 calls and answering any kind of radio calls that come back and forth through the offices. We have a camera system that shows us um, internally what's, what's going on within the police department and we can put the um, camera system from the high school up on that main screen there if, um, if there's something going on up there during the school year. This is the lieutenant's office. He's in charge of everything that goes on in the city. During his shift, um, every major decision that needs to get made, they run it through him, and he, uh, he always does the right thing. Thanks, Lieutenant. This is the uh, records division here. These are all my, my record clerks. If you come to the window and you need some assistance, you'll see one of their smiling faces. This is the, uh, the area for the Healthy PBD Collaborative, and they're actually doing some work. They want to keep kids above the influence of any kind of uh, alcohol or, or other narcotics, and they do a ton of work in the city. And, uh, We'll be talking with them in the future. When someone gets arrested, the officer obviously puts them in the back of the cruiser and drives them in into this sally port here. Once that door is closed, then they take them out of the car and the officer that you saw in the uh, control room would come out. He's called the booking officer and he'd assist the arresting officer doing what's called the booking process. So they bring the individual over here and they take all of his biographical information and record it in our record management system. They take his book and photo, and they actually take a set of fingerprints uh, on, the, on the computer over there, laser fingerprints, which gets sent right down to the state police and ultimately out to the FBI. And then they get put in a, uh, a cell, which we can take a look at. All the cells are basically the same. They come with a bench, no toilet, and a sink. 
Uh, you get a blanket. It's designed to be made so that you can't hurt yourself in here um, because it can be a stressful situation. They're also monitored by that camera up, up front on, on one of those screens every time there's somebody in here. This is our training room. It's about a, uh, let's say 25 or 30 seat auditorium. It has PowerPoint and all kinds of um, equipment so that we can do modern day kind of training. Sometimes we'll allow private companies to do police related training here. That's a, actually a New York City Police Department flag. They gave that to us last year when they came down to visit us. We have a pretty good relationship with that 84th precinct over there in New York. This area here is the roll call room. Every shift from uh, eight, eight in the morning Four in the afternoon and at midnight starts right here. The officers come in. The um, sergeant in charge will go through any new information they need to be aware of, any recent arrests, any uh, legal updates that they may have, that type of stuff. And um, they go over all that information before they're, uh, they're sent out on the street. Before they, uh, they go out, the sergeant goes in here. He opens up this curtain and they get their weapons. Different guys might carry patrol rifles. These are the um, AEDs everybody has in a cruiser. And the guys are going to be carrying the tasers as well so that we don't have to escalate all the way up to a weapon. And this is a, a garage. This is one of our traffic units, that SUV. That's one of the vehicles. It's utilized for the SWAT team. We have a, um, a police car from the 1940s. And we also have a deer car, which you guys have probably seen in the parades and things like that. Each vehicle has a different kind of function. We actually have a ten, uh, some 10 speed bikes that are motorized. So there's all kinds of different, uh, depending on what we're trying to do, um, there's all kinds of different uh, vehicles that we can utilize. We do our handgun training on the range here. And the long arm stuff, the rifles and the shotgun, those are all done off site because we just need more room. You stand back here, the computer generates a program and it moves the targets back and forth. And you go through a 50 round qualification. And you have to do that twice. And that counts as one training. We have six bays here that we can train six different guys at a time. And the numbers on the walls are the distance from the bay out. We've been going through a lot of bullets recently uh, with the training. There's some different stuff that's set up to, to help us uh, go through different scenarios. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope to see you again with future um, episodes with PBD Access Television and, and uh, I have a number of different topics in mind to talk about over the next few months but if anybody has anything of interest to themselves you can send me a letter at the police station or send me an email to my email address at tgriffin at pbdpolice.org and I hope you enjoyed this show and have a good day.